Hi folks and welcome to Tech with Troy. We've got a quick pick for you tonight and that's the HP Pavilion X360. Um, this is on sale at Walmart for $3.99 and we'll put a link in the show notes below. Um, it's interesting because we're also going to start a new feature tonight on the channel called uh, Troy's Weekly Rants or something along those lines. And um, what's funny is that the processor in this machine is actually going to be the baseline against which we compare all other processors. Um, it's the new version of the i3. It's a very good chip. Um, the other specs on this are great too. As you can see from the picture, it's a um, two-in-one so it'll go into tent mode, it goes into full tablet mode, it comes with an HP uh, digitizing pen, it also has uh, this 1920 x 1080 display, uh, obviously a touchscreen display, it comes with 4 gig of RAM, you can put I think up to 16 gig of memory in it, plus it comes with a 16 gig Optane memory which goes in actually an SSD slot and it doesn't actually work as memory but uh, speeds up your hard drive. It comes with a one terabyte hard drive, um, which means it's got a two and a half inch drive bay if you need to increase it in the future. It also comes with AC Wi-Fi, uh, Windows 10 Home. It has an HDMI connection, has two USB 3.1s and a USB 2.0. Um, all in all, uh, this is an excellent deal for $399. I checked and right now, um, this laptop in similar configurations, as we've talked about before, getting exactly the same uh, configuration on Amazon and at one of the other big box retailers like Walmart is almost impossible. I think they go out of their way to make it so that we can't compare apples to apples, if you will. But it looks like you would pay somewhere between $500 and $600 on Amazon for this machine. Um, I do realize it's a little bit higher than some of the other machines that we have been recommending lately. Most of those have been Celeron processors, and as we'll see, uh, I'll also put a link to the uh, comparison video we're going to do tonight. But as we'll see, uh, this is probably 30 to 70 percent better than a Celeron processor in terms of it's going to be snappier, you're going to get better responsiveness, um, just a better experience out of the box. And that particularly matters when you're doing something with a touch screen and something like this where you have a pen that you can do drawing with. Um, as always, if you've appreciated the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I hope everybody has a good night. Take care.